Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I am Knight in Phoenix and I am with my brother Grey Ghost in Phoenix. We are doing the Balkans bush trips. Just finished leg five. We are now going to start off on leg six. 29.23 nautical miles. So we will click continue. Let this load up. The last two or three flights that we did, we can't see each other in the game. We should be able to. We always have been able to. Um, so we quit the game this time. And restarted it. So hopefully, once we get in there and get in the air, we'll be able to actually see each other. Um, one time I could see him, he couldn't see me. Another time he could see, I could see him, he couldn't see me or something, whatever. Um, but so far tonight, we have not had a single flight where we could both see each other. All right, I see one airplane down on the runway. All right, well, I saw you just pop in. All right, yeah, that's me, and I've got my name on my plane, so that worked. So we'll go ready to fly. Wait for the VFR map. Get it up out of the way. Go outside. Zoom out a little bit. And are we going to be able to see Grey Ghost? No. You are nowhere to be seen, dude. Unbelievable. I know. I say they definitely broke something. Well, so I'm wondering, can I go into settings and maybe there's something traffic? Hello. It wouldn't make sense because the first time you saw me and I didn't see you. Right. But what has now happened? This Something's time, happened. Yeah. So now this time I see you and you don't see me. Yeah. That's how it was the last two times or three times right. maybe. So I've got aircraft traffic type, real time online. Show traffic nameplates is on. Use generic plane models, multiplayer, it's off. Don't know why I would need that on or off. I mean, either way. Real time online. Oh, data. Everything here is on, multiplayer is on. Hmm. Yep, I got nothing. You're behind me, you say? Yeah. You're sitting in the middle of the runway on the on the, not the middle of the runway, but on the white line. And I'm yep. one, two, three lines behind you and on the right. Hmm. Nope, nothing there. Alright, well. Give it some flaps. And uh, let's see, let's take a look here first. We're going. Give me some ISO lines. So we are going from LQMO to LDDU. It is just about 60 nautical miles. We'll zoom out. Okay, there it is. It's going to be long. So I can see when I just. Zoomed out on the VFR map, I see an airplane flying over the water. Oh, yeah. Northwest of LDDU on the map, so. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense that I can't see you. 
If I see it too. You say you see it? Yeah, I see it. It's actually the one I'm seeing is from KLP. I don't even know where KLP is. Just north of north west of LDD. All right. Yeah, I'm zoomed out quite a bit, so I probably don't see. It. It's probably the same airplane. Yeah. Yeah, KLP. Yeah, if I zoomed in, I just wanted to be out far enough to get both of these LQM0 or O and LDDU both on the same screen. All right. So number one, uh, we're going to depart from Mostar, following a river south in time. Let's see, 12 miles. It's about. You will arrive over the riverside town of something, an archaeological wonder dating back to 5 BC, where two bridges cross the waterway near its center. All right, so we're going to follow 208 until we find two bridges crossing water, I guess. That's how I read it. Yep. Okay, we're turning the brakes off first. That's a switch. And full throttle. for the heading. Overcompensate so I can get myself on the line. I'm getting rid of the flaps. Bring some more positive trim up here. elevation here. Yep. Looks like I should be good. So I see off to my left a um, 10 o'clock EBI pilot. Yep. What? I do not see you. I don't know, we should try the next one without joining the group. I have no idea what being a part of a group does. I would I mean, assume it lets us see each other, but then again, we see everybody else. So. Yeah, we see everybody else. So I put nav mode on, that automatically controls the trim. And I just can't figure out how to figure out what the altitude should be. I mean, there's a number here. I know this is for altitude, but there's nothing here. Look in here? No. How do I set the altitude? I don't want to go higher. It's going higher. It says zero. Range. 
just course heading now that's a radio it's the barometric pressure see there's just no way to, I mean, there's obviously a way I can't see it how to set what the altitude that I want in here speed and do nose up nose down turn approach mode on now turn altitude hold mode on what if I do that all right so I change I'm at 3600 feet and it I turn altitude hold mode on and I see 3600 flashing right where I wanted to enter a number or I can't figure out how to enter it. If I, it's on the second screen. I think they're identical. Transponder. Heading. Oh, there's a big old button down here. It says altitude. <laughs> increase altitude. Increase selected altitude. selection says minus 1400 so that's going by thousands Hold, I want to see so something here says it's VNV. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. Okay, so we are turning like 152. It's just saying zero feet per minute. Turn vertical speed mode on. So if we want to do nose 
is down. Okay, there we go. Minus 100 feet per minute. 200. Minus 300 feet per minute. Let me take a look and make sure I'm not going to plow into anything. Okay, so EBI pilot is in front of me. And I do not see any gray ghosts. Yeah, I see you too. That's about 9.30. Okay, so where are we here? Make your way to the rolling hills just east of the riverbank. A road runs southeast towards Nature Reserve, a complex of marshes, uh, lakes, underground, well springs, and rivers. Just south of it lies a large semi artificial lake. Make your way across it, aiming for the southern shore. Seems to be what I'm doing right now. And proceed past it in a multi road junction near the village. Near the village. Okay. All right, so I think I need to Hold here. For some reason I'm still climbing. Not much, but... If I do, I want to go to 3,000 feet. says gain altitude so I'm at 4200 right now okay again have gain altitude from where right so I'm at 3000 I'm gonna set mine for 3500 Set for 3500. Do nose up. Turn that off. I don't know why it won't. I mean, I know why it won't because I don't know how to operate this thing. Got 200 feet per minute set for increase my vertical speed. 
but for some reason it looks like I'm doing 650 feet per minute. But it should be alright because when I get to 3500 it should stop. Alright, compass just changed again. Have you, has your compass changed? Just now. Okay, so we are like right next to each other then. But I do not see you. You can still see me though. Yeah. Alright, 12 o'clock so. load. You should be on a heading at 110. Yeah, currently going 114. My course does say it's 110, so I guess we're intercepting the line or something. Or maybe a cross breeze. So why am I still climbing? I've hit 3,500 feet. Thirty five hundred number I just got a, some type of a warning. Like maybe I'm not high enough. Looks like I'm high enough. Yeah, one three nine. in the cockpit. Let's go increase the altitude to 4,000. At least I'm blue again. It had changed the uh, altitude number to yellow. I hit 4,000 and it's still climbing. And then I jumped up to 4,100 up there. And turn altitude hold mode on. And we're still climbing. So which one are we on now? Number three or uh, five? Five. Um. Okay, the road runs southeast to another town, which in turn has a road running south over the mountainside. Yep, we're turning again. Two two four. When the path arrives at the entrance to a tree-lined canyon. It bends back north, but you will turn and head southwest. Okay, so we're following this canyon. Tree line canyon, got it. So then we're going up to number six. 
as you track southwest away from the tree line canyon, follow the contours of the pass all the way through. Your course will lead you down a hillside toward the village of Slano, namesake of the area's bay and harbor. Yourself. And did I? Yeah, I just looking around trying to see if I can find you anywhere. And I cannot. Oh, Pretty large body of water. They've got to be getting close to like just northwest of KLP, I guess. So I think when we get right before the water here, we're going to take a hard left. And there it goes. On EBI pilot, do you see his airplane type? No. Okay, I don't either. It just he, he's kind of staying in front of us. It's almost like he is doing the um, the bush trip. Yeah. But typically, we if that is, we would see the C-172 underneath his name. So I guess we went to number seven, head southeast down the coastline, and soon you'll reach another bay alongside Peninsula. This is the shipping port of Gruz, an entryway to the prominent city of Dubrovnik. And then we will be at the Dubrovnik airport. To fly over the city proper, then a bit further southeast to reach the coast. Tracking with the shoreline, you'll pass a small island. Cross the waters over bay and eventually make your way to the town and harbor of Kavtat. That was 11. That's. So I'm gonna say we've got at least 10 more miles.
here, right? L no, LDDU up here. So this is probably this right here. So over to the right on the island we should see KLP. Which I'm not quite sure what KLP is. Could just be like a marker. That or just a real small airport that you can't really distinguish. Yeah, it's just a weird symbol, almost like it would be a uh, like a flight beacon, maybe. Just about over this here. Coming here, gonna be here, so we come across that. We come in here. Here to need 4,100 feet anymore. Nah, I've been coming down. I'm at 3,900 right now. Okay, so if I decrease the selected altitude, I'm going to bring it all the way down to 1,500. Because that's sea level below us as far as I know. Yeah. Set that to 1,500. We want to do decrease vertical speed. Let's turn that all. Alright, I think I see the airport. And this mode yep, looks like it's right here. to decrease our or increase our decrease speed <laughs> or decrease vertical speed do 600 feet per minute and we go down to thousand feet per minute. Because it really doesn't lo look like we're going to be much more than a few minutes out. Yeah. So if I'm at 3,000 feet and I set it to decrease at a thousand feet per minute, should put me pretty close.
Alright, I got another uh, airplane behind us. D Hawk the Great. It's a Cessna 172. Yep. We just can't see each other. Okay, I've got myself down to just over 1,600 feet. 2,000. I'm going to disengage the autopilot. Altitude hold off. I think that should be all I need to turn off here. Myself a notch of flaps, trying to get me to slow down a little bit. We are lining up. Full flaps. Engine power is at zero. Got a lot of coasting to do here yet. Can't slow it down any more than it is, other than pulling up. They're underground. Just at the end of the lights. And congratulations, the league is completed. 35 minutes, not too bad. What was that, League 6, I think? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, another league, League 6, in the books. We will be flying leg seven, so be sure to check the channel. Leg seven should be around here somewhere. See you then.